Hi, this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org here with SiliconANGLE's live continuous coverage from Dell Storage Forum 2012 here in Boston, Massachusetts. We're on theCUBE. The Cube's where we find the, the smartest people we can find in the industry, look to extract the signal from the noise, and really talk about the, the, the trends, the real customer deployments, and the proof points. And joining me for my next segment is Roger Lund. Roger, you, your first time on theCUBE, uh, second, you've been at, uh, you're a Dell customer. Second your time second here. time here at this show, so you've been to both Dell storage forums. So first of all, welcome to theCUBE. Yep, thank you. Great. Actually, my second time on theCUBE. Oh, you've been on theCUBE. Yes. Second time on theCUBE, second time Dell Storage Forum. Yep. I, I, I apologize, it's been hey. lots of shows, in, and, and you're one of the regulars I see at a lot of these shows. So, um, while you are a Dell customer, you're also here as part of Dell's influencer program. So, they bring in kind of the bloggers, they've got the press, the analysts, the bloggers, and Dell does a nice job of kind of mashing them up to allow the people that use social media, so whether it's you know the Twitter, uh, the blogging, or other ways that they're, they're reaching people, uh, that they, they do a nice job of that. So, First of all, welcome back. Thank then you. I guess it's, it's your second time. And to tell us a little bit, what's, what's your feel of the show been this week compared to like last year in general? Sure, you know, I think that they've really got um, the message, you know, out there, uh, fluid, you know, and you know, they've done a really good job of, of keeping the show flowing, you know, and, and you know, it's just, uh, it's good to see them come back um, a year later with a lot of uh, new news and, you know, we now, uh, both the customers and you know the, the the industry has an idea what Dell's been doing. Okay, great. So, can, can you you you're with the Ray Services Group? Can yep. you paint a picture for us as to kind of your role there and what the IT environment looks like? Sure. Yep. Yep. Um, I'll just you know Ray Services Group is um, the, the parent company for um, four different comp you know comp companies that uh, do different call center type thing. We do uh, collections. We do. Um, medical billing, courtesy calling, things like that. So um, I'm a senior systems admin there, right? So I do everything from uh, Windows servers, administration, um, backups, um, servers, uh, physically, you know, racking, stacking, um, VMware storage, you know, so anything in that realm. Okay. Great. So, uh, and, and and obviously, I mean, you're wearing the VMUG user group. Yep. You're the VMUG, yep. VMUG leader, and uh, so you, you still have Windows physical machines, though, or you know, how yep. much of your environment's virtualized? Uh, Seventy-five percent, roughly. You know, so we've still got some. You know, then there's always going to be some physical server, especially in the call center. You know, when you've got phone connection activity, right? So, um, but yeah, so I'm a VMUG leader, uh, co-leader in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, VMUG leader in St. Cloud, Minnesota. So if, if you guys are new to the VMUG program, you know, go to myvmug.org, uh, check it out, uh, the local event in your area, register. Um, there's definitely a good opportunity to do some networking and figure out you know, what other uh, users are doing in the industry. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when I, when I, when I look at uh, the VMware environment, the, the ecosystem they've built out, and really you've got you know, volunteers like yourself that help run these user groups. Um, they, they help dri you drive the content, you drive the discussion. Uh, a lot of that gets back to VMware and to the solutions that they're building. Uh, can, can you speak, how, how, how big is your uh, chapter of the user group? Yeah, you know, in Minneapolis we've got you know, roughly 300 users that, that attend, and then St. Cloud it's closer to 50-ish, you know, 50 -ish, you know and, and uh, you know, it's just, um, you know, a lot of us are excited about it and you know, really push virtualization as far as we can when we're um, implementing, you know, projects and applications and, and things like that. So it's just good to you know, talk about that with other users and you know, that's what the program's all about. And you know, we just pull vendors in to show off new technology and products that help us do our job better. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody that uh, you know hasn't checked them out already, check out the local local VMware user groups. They're a good way to get information, uh, not just about VMware, but their whole ecosystem. Because uh, as we know, uh, VMware. I think last number I heard was somewhere around for every dollar that people spend on VMware uh, software, there's over twenty dollars of ecosystem. So uh, big piece pulling it all together. Uh, we'll be bringing the cube again to to VMworld. I know Roger's going to be there at the end of August, uh, yep. back in San Francisco. So. Uh, when you talk about your environment, you've really got you know multiple companies together. You know, what are some of the challenges that you face uh, from an IT staff to kind of you pull sure. all things together? Well, you know, I mean, when you're working in an environment like mine, it's really a kind of an ISP model. Um, you know, so 
you've got uh, multiple uh, requirements for for everything from uh, compliance all the way to uptime. You know, so I mean, VMware is key. You know, to be able to uh, provide um, you know the base right high availability and all the things that come with it, you know, and then, you know, we use Compellent, um, you know, it really lets us, um, you know, present that data, um, you know, and the tiering and all the, the features that Compellent brings to the table are great for us. So, so can, can you take us back to how long have you been involved with virtualization and, and what have been kind of the adoption steps along the way? Sure, yeah. Um, you know, I started playing with VMware when it first released, you know, but I didn't have an active role um, in the data center, you know, until uh, 12, 13 years ago, um, you know. So, 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 you, so you were early. <laughs> yeah, so I was early in, um, in, you know, virtualization. I mean, right away, you know, it was to me, it was like, wow. I mean, just look what this can do. I mean, you, you know, literally um, the computer, you know, that you're loading the software on, the software doesn't know that it's on a virtual platform, and that yeah. was amazing to me, you know, and my mind was already reeling for the possibilities at that point in time, but, you know, as um, soon as I was in a role that was, you know, a, a decision maker in the technology side, the influencer, um, you know, I started implementing it and playing with it, and, you know, it's been a great journey, you know, from the early days of uh, GSX and, and some of those platforms, um, with, you know, ESXi, the arrival of that product, um, and where we are today with the vCloud products. Um, it's really, you know, quite the experience, and, you know, uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't say that I'm uh, fluent in every one of those sections anymore. There's just so much content out there. Yeah, absolutely. I remember those early days, you know, talk 10 years ago, I remember talking about, you know, going underneath the operating system, bare metal, going kind of the kernel zero, and I remember Duncan actually did a blog post last year about, you know, what, you know, what was it like when you first saw vMotion the first yeah. time? And we said it was it was magic. It was right. just one of those things that every engineer I knew was just in awe well, over of this memory technology. Over-memory was huge. I so mean, it was unheard of, you know, and just those technologies have really been paramount for us. So, for you us. know, w one of the challenges with any technology as it's gotten broader adoption and becomes more mature, you know, VMware every year comes out with a new feature uh, and, you know, the, it almost, uh, you, you talk about the innovator's dilemma, you're always kind of moving up and to the right, adding more features, and it doesn't become too expensive or you know, too many features than when most people use. So, uh, you know, w what's your take on VMware these days? You know, what excites you still about uh, you know, working with virtualization and, and VMware? Well, I think you know, just the ability to, to get the, the real feeling of what everything is doing. You know, it's a single plane of glass um, that you get um, the manageability to, you know, DR plays such an importance in today's world. I mean, without being able to remove that hardware abstraction layer and we don't have to move those VMs, you know, from one location to the other, it's very challenging. You know, so I think just the, you know, I like to say thinking virtual is, you know, that mindset change that you get into. Is, is great. So, so Roger, I wonder if I could poke at something you just said there, the single pane of glass. So you, you told me that you know, your environment's not all virtual. Yep. So you know, vCenter obviously can, can kind of manage uh, you know, the, your, my VMware environments, but if I've got physical servers yep. on Windows, I can't do in there. Uh, we had D Darren Thomas on yesterday, and he said uh, the single pane of glass for my entire environment is really kind of a holy grail. We may never get there. Uh, Dell's vision is that APIs and automation are w what are going to allow you know, folks Correct, like you yep. to do your job. So what, what, what's your whole management story look like? Yeah, so I mean, you know, um, I, I spend most of my time in VMware and it's a challenge. I mean, you know, um, I've got a variety of aged equipment, you know, from the early Dell equipment to the newer Dell equipment um, and, you know, a few other things in there, you know, just like every other data center and management's always a challenge, you know. So, uh, you know, I think most of us envision that, you know, we want to see integration um, and, uh, all the way from the management side all the way to the back end and you know the more we can integrate things together the easier it is this first to do our job right you know so that's the like you said the whole grail of where we want to get at some point great so you know what, what's your week like been here what's what's been kind of the best nugget that you've learned what surprised you what excited you uh, here at the show right you know I, I there's been some big things this week, you know, the, the Dell uh, blade chassis, um, you know, that has storage uh, inside of it is is very intriguing to me, um, especially when you start talking DR and backup and, and some of those areas, or uh, VDI, right? Um, that, um, followed by the compellent announcements, I mean, to me, being a compellent customer, um, you know, new controllers, new disk drives, I mean, it was huge. Um, you know, the the FS series, the 600, and you know, in front of that's huge. Um, you know, 
not that we don't like Microsoft's file servers, but so there's some challenges there that could be alleviated with you know, having uh, SIFS type you know, NAS access. Okay, did you have any Equalogic in your environment or are you solely c uh, compel it Just right compel now? it right now, yes. Okay, and uh, on, on the file system, so you consider the Exanet, uh, you know, technology in there, is that that's something you're looking at? Yeah, definitely, I mean, you know, it's, it goes back to the management and high availability, you know, I mean, um, Windows, um, you know, every time you do Windows updates, you have to take your server down and that's a disruption, you know, so it's uh, the, the ability to scale um, and to have things like antivirus built in, you know, are huge for, for possibilities for us. Okay, well, one of the other bi you know, big announcements on the compellent side was uh, the integration into vStart uh, with the vStart yeah. 1000. So what, what's your take on convergence? Um, you know, as, as an IT practitioner, uh, if you looked at it, what's your thoughts? And uh, You know, I mean, uh, I like to get my hands dirty in the technology, you know, but uh, I mean, there's definitely some, some interesting uh, use cases there, especially in your remote office, um, branch office, um, you know, type of thing, or if you um, literally um, are, you know, expanding fast and just need to be able to drop something in instead of track of offering. Okay, great. Uh, you know, wh what about the activities this week? You know, they've got the Fluid Lounge here, they've got the Blogger.